We've got from Simon M who's super saying, Thoughts? Asmund commented on WoW toxicity. Did Blizzard's very handoff attitude in the early days, like with trade chat, lead to what they deride so much? Um, yeah, you know, I, I think with that, there's, I mean, look, there, there's toxic, there's toxicity in all gaming communities, uh, but some games more than others, and generally, you will get more and more toxicity when you have systems, like, say, Mythic Plus exist, where it takes one bad actor to ruin somebody else's keystone, and it's all happening through a group finding system where players are, you know, more of a, just a resource, right, a means to you finishing your dungeon. So when those things exist, yeah, there'll be more toxicity. Um, we, we've talked a, a quite a bit in this stream, actually, about toxicity yeah. and solving those problems, and that basically it's just player behavior. It's not the player behavior that you want, but it might actually be unhelpful just to label it all as, oh, toxic players. It's not, no, it it's just a undesirable form of player behavior that it, you know is probably being encouraged by game systems. Yeah, It's like solo queue. You're solo queue, a lot of us would want something like that, but solo queue has got its pros and its cons. So certainly toxicity can be a con of a solo queue experience. Um, I don't know, what, what do you think about the toxicity stuff? Also this and Asmogold, I've seen a bunch of people talk about Asmogold and toxicity, to be honest. I see that shit in social media, I go, oh, this looks like drama, I don't care, and I, I don't get involved. Yeah, I got it. don't have any context. I All I think I'm aware is he, he, I think he called the woke community toxic. I think that's okay. I think that's what he said. I don't know the context of him saying that. I think most people will yeah. find the, the WoW community to be a bit more spicy than the FF community. Yeah, the FF community are also... Right now, they are very, uh, <laughs> very incentivized to, you know, put on their, put on their best act going forward. But also their... Uh, you know, it's kind of what the, what the, I guess that the, the point of Simon's question being about did the hands-off attitude in the early days lead to that? And I think that's what people will see the opposite in FF, where right, they're more active. Yeah, it's very easy to be, you know, to be to claim harassment and get someone, you know, get someone gotten rid of. So everyone, you know, for better or worse, you know, puts on a happy mask and goes, okay, well, you know, the, the, the quickest way to get this bit of content complete is to be nice and helpful and thankful and be like, oh, yep, yeah, hello. Hello, hello, Sprouts. Here's, uh, you know, watch out. You're in Cutter's Cry. Here's a Chimera. When Ra when Ram's voice isn't casted, you know, get out. When Dragon's voice is casted, get in. And then, you know, that's the quickest way to actually solve the problem, because you can't brute force it like you kind of can in a lot of World of Warcraft. I think that's one of the things where that's also the the incentive there is if you say stupid idiot sprouts i can't believe you died over and over again how you use your brains can i look this up how do you not know this how do you not look up the dungeon before you go in and then you'll get you know you get banned which wouldn't happen in world of warcraft and that's no. where some of that subtle difference comes from no and like if you look at world of Warcraft, I mean, it's just a general environment right trade chat's full of fucking spam you look at the group yeah. fighter it's also full of freaking spam yep you, you look at the slash one and it's just a shit show yeah your card sanctum of domination slash one's always going to be a fun time well, that's, uh, at least I wouldn't say that's toxic. I think, think it'd be funny. Yeah, I think it's sort of okay banter. Um, Maybe a bit daft, but... You know. I, I wonder. Yeah, it it seems like they they do just actively moderate their game a lot more. Yeah. Or FF than Blizzard does for a yeah. while. Now, Blizzard did try to do some automated systems. I remember Gold getting silenced because people mass reported him or something. Yeah. Uh, to kind of like goof on him, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's tricky. So uh, as for fixing things up today, I mean, man... The problem with the, like the Mythic Plus system and how it works with the keystones and the sort of risk and individual time wastage of the various people, especially the keystone holder, like that is just a big toxicity sort of situation. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we've even experienced it in like the first or second time we bugged. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Right? And that just sucked. This tank just left, not a word. You're like, sweet. Yeah, Good. cool. I guess, that's, I guess that's 30 minutes of our time wasted, which is, yeah. you know. Yeah, and then because you deplete the key and because we're not yep. really giga key timers, we probably only plus one it. So it's like yeah. not only have we lost 30 minutes, we then have to spend however many minutes trying to get back to where we were mm -hmm. because some random tank from the group finder played terribly, ended up just rage quitting. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, cool. Well, that's a great experience. There's no repercussions for that either. I certainly felt some toxicity uh, swirling up within me. Oh, yeah. During I was, that situation. I swore like a sailor. Yeah, yeah. 
Absolutely. That was yep. a, you know, uh, that was a fuck you and the ground you walk on for ruining our time. <laughs> yeah. For wasting our time. You piece of shit. Like that's exactly yep. instantly where I went to because yeah, yeah the system d- that's what they did, did. It really yeah. fucked us over. Yep, they did that. Yeah. So yeah. No, pretty I, rough. Yeah. I mean, there's actually, uh, there's a guy in Ranar was talking about this on, or the guy called Ranar on Twitter talking about this. And he was talking about the uh, systems and hostility and MMOs. He was using uh, 14's Party Finder as a uh, comparison where, you know, you put in what minimum item level, you put in what classes, you filter by have they completed this before or have they not. And then if you fit, you can sign up and join as opposed to you join a list and then, you know, the party owner can sift through the list and go, oh, what's your Raider I.O.? What's your Raider I.O.? What's your Raider I.O.? Uh, I'll take you. I'll take the best one. Which is, you know, you can immediately see the immediate difference between, you know, the first person who signs up who fits, gets in, versus I'll wait for the best. But it's more the the idea of that as opposed to direct comparison because there's, you know, there's kind of downsides to both. Yeah. But the comparison there is, like, it's the systems. It's those simple things. Like, you know, you bring that up out of nowhere without talking about toxicity. You go, well, that doesn't really make much of a difference. But then you think like really deeply and really hard about how that impacts player behavior over time. And then think of this across a hundred different things. And you can see that if you track all of the toxicity in World of Warcraft back through, well, what in what about the game makes players act this way? You go back and there's probably been, you know, nearly 20 years of decisions that accidentally have bred the community in one way or the other. Yeah. And it's kind of grim, but I think it's like we're, well, I'd say we, you know, the, the game development community as a whole is probably significantly more aware of all of these things now and how to interact with player behavior because so much research been done into it. I mean, well, I was going to bring up riots, but maybe uh, maybe bringing up the person who was in charge of that, maybe not the best idea. Oh. Jeremy Lin. But that was Jeremy Lin. I think it was a well, he was- riot light. He was... Uh, not yeah. a very, not a very nice person. Not, a, not a very nice person. Which you know, why was he leading the player toxicity stuff? Hmm. But, <laughs> but yeah, it's like th- there's, there's ways to design systems that aren't like super punitive, but just naturally, you know, th- you know, you're, you're carving out the path for players to walk on. That's a bit nicer overall, I think. That's a, that's a good thing. <laughs>